Hey, this is uh, Bobby Gunn here. This is going back to the fellow Tony the Rhino. That's that's his name. Right? Um, the wee boy, this the MMA fighter. Um, Tony, honest to God, thank you, son, for mentioning my name. <laughs> you know, it means a lot to me that you would even mention my name. Um, I'm a I'm a former boxing champion, cruiserweight, and I'm a stand-up bare knuckle fighter. That's my game. I'm not an MMA. I don't roll on the ground and I don't do that stuff. Um, as far as like rough and tumble. If we was in somewhere in the street somewhere and the fight just happened, well, then them rules anything goes. But, but you you said a few things I want to correct you on. You said I'm challenging men out to fight all the time. I don't challenge nobody, son. I only reply back to people who put challenges to me. And I'm going to explain something to you here. When you call a man out to fight, that means you got to go where that man is. That's that's the rules. I never made them up. Everybody in the world knows the rules how how it works. But you made a challenge to me, so that means you want to come and stand up, bare knuckle box me, stand up rules, fight me the right way. You said two to one, honest to God, that's good. You put up 50, 100 grand, I'd be glad to match you. That's not our problem. You can ask anybody who knows me. And I mean the world champions and some of the most wealthiest gypsy travelmen in England, they'll vouch for me. <laughs> Lowey's no problem for me at all. You also said we don't do muskers. Pal, I live in America. The gypsy travelers here, we don't like muskers either. That's insanity. Now, listen to me. When you call a man out, you come to man. But you know something, Tony? I don't never heard of you. You're an MMA fighter, and honest, fair play to you. Honest to God, I seen a picture of you at one of the traveler fairs. Your wee shirt, your wee jeans rolled up. But honest to God, you're a nice wee boy. You're looking at a welterweight or a middleweight. You're a good, tough wee fighter. Honest to God, you are. But there's a lot more better men than me, son, where you live in the UK. I'm 3,000 miles across the pond in America. I live in America. There's some good men in UK and Ireland and Scotland. I think they would take them odds, two to one odds on you anytime. But I, you need to really go fight those men. And then you want to come to America and fight me over here. No problem at all, son. I take you up on any time. It's not a problem. When you call a man out, make sure you're ready to go. You jump up and down the wee couch right now and you took your shirt off and you said you're ready to go and I see you honest to God, you're fair play to you. You're in good shape. And you never miscalled me, son. You never miscalled my family and I give you respect for that. You're a gentleman. But you did so I want to know that you said I mean James Quinn. I never called James Quinn. We had an argument and it was sorted instantly and we become the best of mates. See that's how it works. But again, I'm my own man. Nobody runs me and controls me. Nobody instigates me or, or tries to get me to do things. If there's somebody behind you, putting you up to do this, they're putting it all on you, son, because the whole world's on you now. Make sure your money's there, because money's not a big deal to me at all. Put the money up, get your ass on a plane, come over, you're in good shape, you're ready to go now, we'll sort it out, it's not a big deal. Fair play to you, son. Honest to God, I wish you the best. And like I said, you really need to go prove yourself with some fight men over there in the UK, you know, get a good name for yourself, some good men back home, proper gypsy traveler men. There's so many names I mentioned, I couldn't say them all, but they, everybody knows who they are. The Irish, the Scottish, and English, and the Welsh travelers, proper good men back home. You don't have to reach out to a man 3,000 miles from you. But see, if you was in America, son, I'd be at your door in two or three hours today. But I'm not. I don't know who you are. Never met you in my life. I don't even know where you live. But it's like me picking up the phone or video and challenging somebody in Hong Kong or UK. It'd be kind of a silly thing when I don't even live there. <laughs> so far as you're sick of me, me fighting Kimbo Slices, that's money fights. That's the, I'm the professional athlete. I, I fight these guys. I'm a former boxing champion. I fight the top guys in the world. That's what I do for a living. I just don't pick up the phone and call somebody out names and call them down. That's not a manly thing to do. But I wish you the best. Fair play to you. God bless you, Tony. You got your challenge accepted. Put your money up, son, and come over to America, and we'll sort it out.